those white cow seas, her father was called, refused to go, and her mother, plenty eagle feathers. I was three years old when my father's right leg was broken in the battle of the hundred slain. From that wound he limped until the day he died. He is buried here in these hills. I can remember that winner of the hundred slain, as a man may remember some bad dream he dreamed when he was little. But I cannot tell just how much I heard when I was bigger and how much I understood when I was little. It is like some fearful thing in a fog, for it was a time when everything seemed troubled and afraid. I had never seen a watch issue then and did not know what one looked like. But everyone was saying that the wash issues were coming and that they were going to take our country and rub us all out. And that we should all have to die fighting. It was the wash issues who got rubbed out in that battle. I was 16 years old when this happened and we had moved over to the mouth of Pinot Creek. We started out on horseback just about sunrise riding up the creek toward the soldier's town on the piney, for we were going to attack it. The sun was about halfway up, and we stopped at the place where the Washishu's road came down a steep, narrow ridge and crossed the creek. It was a good place to fight, so we sent some men ahead to coax the soldiers out. We divided into two parts and hid in the gullies and waited. After a long while, we heard a shot up over the hill, and we knew the soldiers were coming. Soon we saw our men coming back, and some of them were walking and leading the horses, so that the soldiers would think they were worn out. Then the men who had sent ahead came running down the road between us, and the soldiers on horseback followed, shooting. When they came to the flat at the bottom of the hill, the fighting began all at once. I had a solo horse, and just as I was going to get on him, the soldiers turned around and began to fight their way back up the hill. I had a six-shooter that I had traded for, and also a bow and arrows. When the soldiers started back, I held my soul with one hand and began killing them with the six-shooter, for they came close to me. There were many bullets, there were more arrows. So many that it was like a cloud of grasshoppers all above and around the soldiers. And our people, shooting across, hit each other. The soldiers were falling all the while they were fighting back up the hill, and their horses got loose. Many of our people chased the horses, but I was not at the horses. I was at the horses. When the soldiers got on top, there were not many of them left. They had no place to hide. They were fighting hard. We were told to crawl up on them, and we did. When we were close, someone yelled, Let us go. This is a good day to die. Think of the helpless ones at home. Then we all cried, Hokkae, and rushed at them. I was young then and quick on my feet, and I was one of the first to get in among the soldiers. They got up and fought very hard until not one of them was alive. Dead men and horses and wounded Indians were scattered all the way up the hill, and their blood was frozen, for a storm had come up and it was very cold and getting colder all the time. We left all the dead lying there, for the ground was solid, and we picked up our wounded and started back, but we lost most of them before we reached our camp. Lock up. I am quite sure that I remember the time when my father came home with a broken leg that he got from killing so many wash issues. It must be the fear that I remember most. All this time I was not allowed to play very far away from our TV, and my mother would say, if you are not good, the wash issues will come get you. We must have broken camp at the mouth of the Pino soon after the battle. And we were going away from where the soldiers were. I do not know where we went, but it was west. I was still too little to play war that summer. But I can remember watching the other boys. And I thought that when we all grew up and were big together, maybe we would kill all the Washishus and drive them far away from our country. <laughs> 